हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मेल बॉक्स इन सिस्टम वेरी लॉ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इज व्हाट इज मेल बॉक्स मेल बॉक्स कैन बी थॉट ऑफ एज अ वे टू अलाउ डिफरेंट प्रोसेसेस टू एक्सचेंज डेटा बिटवीन ईच अदर यू कैन थिंक ऑफ इट एज अ रियल मेल बॉक्स in that what happens there will be mails coming in it means someone some other person in case of uh, system very log its process so in the real mailbox some other person is trying to exchange some data with you once you open the ma mailbox you will get the mails so think of it something like that it is a way in which different processes can exchange data with each other in mailbox there will be a queue in which your messages will come the size of this queue can be either bounded bounded means the mailbox has a limited size and it can also be unbounded in which you are not specifying the storage so hypothetically the storage is unlimited there is no limit the mailbox can be of two types one we call as a generic mailbox which can send and receive data of any data type another is parameterized mailbox which is restricted to only specific data type when do you use mailbox what is the application of mailbox so when you have multiple threads which are running in parallel and they want to share data with each other that is when you can use mailbox let's understand about parameterized mailbox if you remember we said parameterized mailbox is one in which you will send and receive the messages of only a specific data type before going to parameterized mailbox let's understand what is the need of parameterized mailbox if the mailbox is not parallel parameterized then it is generic or default so what happens in default mailbox the mailbox is typeless it means it can send and receive data of any type due to this what will happen say in your uh, in your sender in your sender or transmitter block you have created a mailbox which is generic it means you are not restricting to any data type it can send the data of any type however you have a receiver which is trying to expect a data of some different data type that time you will lead into run time errors due to type mismatch because in the transmitter you have specified it as default which means it will send the data of any type but the receiver is expecting the data of only a specific type so if it does not generate the data of the data type which is expected by the receiver you will see run time errors this is the problem with the default mailbox how the parameterized mailbox works first you will define the data type which can be passed using this mailbox the data type will be fixed and once you specify this data type the mailbox will restrict the sender from sending any type which is not expected it can send the data of only the specified data type it won't send data of any data type if you use this in the scenarios where the receiver is expecting only specific type of data it will not result in run time errors this problem can be mitigated with the help of parameterized mailbox now the application of parameterized mailbox is clear let's understand what are different mailbox methods the first method is new new method is used to create a mailbox the second method is num it will tell the number of messages which are present in the mailbox put it will put a particular message in the mailbox 
try put it is just trying to put a message in mailbox it won't block the processes which are after this function try put it will not block even if it is not able to place the message in the mailbox it will continue with the further things get will retrieve a message from mailbox try get will try to retrieve a message it won't block the processes after it peek it will retrieve the message from mailbox but without removing it from the mailbox the message will exist in the mailbox as well as you will be able to retrieve it from the mailbox try peek it will try to retrieve the message from the mailbox without removing it again and without blocking the further processes these are the different methods present in the mailbox now let's see a coding example the coding example of mailbox let us understand the code i have a module called as mailbox example in this example i am using a parameterized mailbox and the data type which i have chosen is string here if you see i am saying mailbox and i am specifying the data type string if i don't specify the data type it will be generic or default mailbox which can send and receive data of any type i have restricted in my mailbox to be string only with the help of new method i am creating a new mailbox i have a new mailbox which has the data type of string and the name is mail please notice in this case i have not specified the number of items which can be present in the mailbox so this is an unbounded mailbox it will send and receive the string data type of any number there is no restriction first what i am doing i am putting one message in the mailbox which is of string let's learn vlsi after a delay of 5 i am putting another message which says at the rate sweety speaks official i am creating two strings to receive the two messages from the mailbox i am receiving first message from the mailbox and i am displaying it then i am getting the second mes message from the mailbox after a delay of 5 and displaying it let's see the output of this here if you see you have got the first message which is let's learn vlsi and then you got the second message which is at the rate sweety speaks official now let's do one thing instead of get let me use peak what is the difference between get and peak the difference is get will remove the message from the mailbox but peak will not remove the message from the mailbox so let's run it and we'll see the output here if you see both the messages with the help of peak were the first one which is let's learn vlsi why because peak does not remove the message from the mailbox the message is still present in the mailbox that's why you are getting the same message again and again so i hope with the help of this example you have understood about the mailbox parameterized mailbox unbounded mailbox and if you want you can put a bound in the mailbox and you have understood different methods like p get practice the different examples of mailbox by yourself and you will understand it better to stay tuned to such quality content on vlsi different topics different subjects in vlsi you can subscribe to sweety speaks official youtube channel thank you the coding example of mailbox let us understand the code i have a module called as mailbox example in this example i am using a parameterized mailbox and the data type which i have chosen is string 
here if you see i am saying mailbox and i am specifying the data type string if i don't specify the data type it will be generic or default mailbox which can send and receive data of any type i have restricted in my mailbox to be string only with the help of new method i am creating a new mailbox i have a new mailbox which has the data type of string and the name is mail please notice in this case i have not specified the number of items which can be present in the mailbox so this is an unbounded mailbox it will send and receive the string data type of any number there is no restriction first what i am doing i am putting one message in the mailbox which is of string let's learn vlsi after a delay of 5 i am putting another message which says at the rate sweety speaks official i am creating two strings to receive the two messages from the mailbox i am receiving first message from the mailbox and i am displaying it then i am getting the second mes message from the mailbox after a delay of 5 and displaying it let's see the output of this here if you see you have got the first message which is let's learn vlsi and then you got the second message which is at the rate sweety speaks official now let's do one thing instead of get let me use peak what is the difference between get and peak the difference is get will remove the message from the mailbox but peak will not remove the message from the mailbox so let's run it and we will see the output here if you see both the messages with the help of peak where the first one which is let's learn vlsi why because peak does not remove the message from the mailbox the message is still present in the mailbox that's why you are getting the same message again and again so i hope with the help of this example you have understood about the mailbox parameterized mailbox unbounded mailbox and if you want you can put a bound in the mailbox and you have understood different methods like p get practice the different examples of mailbox by yourself and you will understand it better to stay tuned to such quality content on vlsi different topics different subjects in vlsi you can subscribe to sweety speaks official youtube channel thank you